How you doing, people? This afternoon, we're going to show you how to unlock the VVT variable valve timing gear on an 06 Scion 1.5. Now, what we had to do was uh, he over revved it and messed something up. So, uh, he sent the head out to Good Performance in California and uh, they port and polished and uh, gave us uh, racing cams so the valve, uh, variable valve timing gear had to come off so when it comes off when you have to take it off you have to unlock it before you put it back on um, and then relock it while it's on don't ask me why I don't understand it all but anyway I did what they told me to do I had trouble finding it on uh, on the internet how to do it other than some reading so I, I really didn't know but what they tell you to do is look at it from the front. This would be the head this way. This is the front. And you have some holes. Now, if these two holes, hole in this and the hole in that, line up, then it's locked. And you have to unlock it. Now, to unlock it, them, them white marks I put on there, to unlock it, you have to put... 21 pounds of pressure, air pressure, into the hole, which would be pretty much the same thing as oil flowing through it. That's how this works. Uh, a valve opens up and oil pressure actually uh, opens this up for you so it'll turn back and forth and, and vary your timing. Now, this little thing here, little elongated hole, 90 degrees from that, down inside there's a groove and there's a hole. I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see it through your camera? Mm -hmm. My buddy Eddie's helping me out here. Um, what you do is you take this and you're going to turn it down and put it in the vise. But before we do that, I want to show you how to make a tool that's out of your way. Now, this is the tool that I made here, and this will actually catch inside of them two grooves. All right. Now, this tool was made from this tool or one like it and this is something that you would tighten up uh, maybe a grinder or um, Dremel a Dremel yeah something like that and then I had to grind down the handle to see how wide it is it needs to fit down inside of that hole and then I actually took I got a cutoff wheel set up on my grinder and I just went zip and cut off right here so that only this much would be sticking out and this thing would be barely sticking out so it wouldn't be in your way Okay, and then that would go down inside of there, and that's how you would turn it. Now you got to turn this after you get your 21 pounds of pressure in there. I used a little bit more. Um, I'll show you in a minute. But in order to turn this, you have to put something on the back of it. So what I do is I hold this with my finger here, and I take vice grips, and I put them in here, and get them closest to the gear as you can, closest to the, the face, so that it won't pull out, and then you got it. So now you're set. Now we're going to put this in the vise with the hole down and on a little bit of an angle so you can see what you're doing. And we're going to clamp it in the vise. Okay, now this one's broke, but fortunately my nephew bought another head and it had the cams and timing gear and all that. And I unlocked that one and put it on the car. Now this is what I used to pressurize it. Air nozzle with a little rubber tip, a little hole in it. And you're going to put that, because that hole is small. You're going to put that inside the hole. Now, when you get it right, you're going to pressurize it. You're going to feel this thing click. There's a locking mechanism inside of that. That's why you're using the air pressure to unlock it. This unlocks that locking thing. And you hit it, and you'll feel it. You go click, click. Now, push it, click. And then you'll be able to turn it. Now, again, this has to go counterclockwise, so you're going to turn the back clockwise. Okay? You turn it, and then you let off the air pressure, and it'll be locked. Now, I'll show you how you know it's locked. First of all, you'll feel it, because it'll turn. But I didn't unlock this one. Like I mentioned, it's broke. I should have showed you on the one that I did, but I didn't have my accomplice here. Um, on the front of this... These two holes, now remember these white marks I put there just for reference, 
but that little hole that's there now is going to be over here somewhere. It's probably about 40, 50 degrees off from that hole. That, that way you know it's unlocked. And you're going to take this, you're going to put it on there, okay? But when you're putting it on, the book tells you to put the pin over here and then turn it till it drops inside that slot. You don't want it in that square slot, you want it in that rounded slot. That's the pin on the end of the can. So you're going to put it on there with the pin hitting right about there, and you're going to turn it this way and you'll feel it go on. You want to make sure it's all the way on, man. You don't want to tighten that thing with it not being all the way on because who knows what you'll do to it. Then you torque this to 47 foot pounds like it says in the directions. And if you need the directions, you can email me. I'll give you that in a minute and I'll send you the directions anyway. I use all data and I'll send you the directions so that you can do it yourself. It seems complicated, but really it's not. The most complicated thing was the valves uh, because they use cups, different size uh, lifters that go down inside of there and you uh, they're, they're have different numbers and they're different sizes, but even that wasn't too bad after you figure it out. Okay, but anyway, you're going to bolt this on 47 foot pounds. Then you're going to turn it back so that these holes line up again. You won't be able to see that hole, but you'll feel it. You'll turn it this way, right? Because it's coming from that way, and it'll click. I'm not sure which way you turn it, but the only way there's only one way you'll be able to turn it. And then after it's torqued. Not before, after it's torqued and on there, good, then you can turn it and you'll feel it click and it'll lock and then you won't be able to move it. Now don't ask me why you can't lock it and put it on there, but this is how they tell you to do it. So that's how you do that. And uh, you can reach me for questions on it. Because I, like I said, I had to find out uh, how to do it and then do it. And then I want to show you guys because there's nothing on YouTube about it. Really nothing on the internet that tells you how to do it. Um, so here you go. Right, my email is widernator, it's W-Y-D-R-A-N-A-T-E-R, widernator, at verizon.net. Again, W-Y-D as in David, R as in Robert, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, A-T-E-R. Did I say that right? Is that good? Okay, widernator at verizon.net. Just shoot me an email. I'll get back to you. I'm always on the internet. And uh, help you out because we need to get rid of these dealers. It would be nice if we could do all our own work because they charge too much. And they keep little crap like this secret so you can't do it yourself. But we'll crack it and figure it out. So, guys, until next time, I find something that uh, I think is important is not on there already, I'll put it on. Uh, thank Eddie. And uh, we'll see you again with another video as needed.